Today we are back with another community member game player view. Now before we jump in here, if you are looking to have your game player viewed, go ahead and check the pinned comment down below. I put a link to join my Discord as well as instructions on how to submit your gameplay. Now today we're going to be breaking down gameplay from longtime community member Punt here, who drops a 15 kill win in Rebirth Solos. And this gameplay is perfect for what I want to talk about today. Here's why. Punt here does my normal warm up. He put his ADS sensitivity multiplier up to a 1.35, really focusing on being soft with that right being precise, really making those micro adjustments to have better aim, except he forgot to turn his ADS sensitivity multiplier down before he dropped in. So this whole entire game, his ADS sensitivity multiplier is a 1.35 as opposed to a 0.7 to a 1 where it should be. And what I want to focus on is, of course, how to win gunfights and why aim is the most important thing. We, of course, talk about the five crucial components, aim, movement, positioning, game strategy, and anticipation. If you have the best movement, you got to hit shots. If you're in the best position, you got to hit shots if you play on your mini map really well you still got to hit shots and that's what we're going to be paying attention to what situations does he put himself in for better or worse because he misses shots throughout this gameplay it's going to happen now before we really jump into this breakdown if you are looking to get better rebirth just consider hitting that subscribe button down below my whole goal is just to help you become a better player and drop higher kill games so Right here, he's going to go ahead and act on his information. He's going to play his gameplay strategy well. He sees the minimap right here with... He hears the shooting and then reacts based on the dots that he sees. Especially early game, it's important to react based on those dots. And he actually has good centering. He has good anticipation. He plays his gameplay strategy really well throughout this game. It's just going to be the fact that he misses shots. And he, it puts him in some really bad spots. Right here, one kill. 32 other people. Of course, we have people respawning back in. And we're going to see it right here with the, the DMR baby dmr zone back maybe no so he's gonna go in and push over right he's got a few pieces of information he's got one flying in somewhere over here in big living he also has some dots on this backside all the way over this way so he's gonna go ahead and act on this push over here and kind of push into this hot area he knows at least three people over here now i do want to highlight one thing here which is we'll highlight his centering a little bit he actually centers really well he's gonna go ahead and push in now, why does he take so much damage there? Well, he takes so much damage because of the fact he's able to cleanly hit those shots. He pushes in. Now, notice that he's not able to make this little micro adjustment, which is why he takes so much damage. And not only do I want to pay attention to this in a solos gameplay, but let's think about a solo duo, solo trio, solo quad situation where you are putting yourself in a fight where you are fighting outnumbered. How does missing shots affect your ability to challenge that next enemy? Does that make sense? I think it does. He hears one, so he's going to go ahead and push up here. By the way, let's talk about this stairwell right here. I'm going to pull this back. When you play this stairwell, here's the secret spot. He's going to end up playing right over to this left side, which isn't a bad spot. The trick here is this corner right here. The reason being is it allows you to challenge the person head on, but they cannot see you. So you just have to time it correctly and challenge at the right time. And then you basically pop over this way. And then you're able to challenge straight down the stairs. He's going to end up still getting this kill right here. He's going to be able to challenge. Notice that player doesn't anticipate. He is able to hit shots right there. He is able to execute. He's able to get that kill. He's got four kills. Still 30 other people. He's off to a really good start this game. Off to a really good start. Definitely off to 20 bomb pace, right? We're talking six in the first circle. He hears one over to over to kind of his left in big living somewhere, somewhere over this way. And you can see him definitely thinking about centering. And he actually does a good job of not only anticipating and centering, but also anticipating with intent, actually being ready to shoot. We talk about this all the time. Notice him clearing the building. Now he knows there's a bunch of people in here. Now just be careful when pushing into a third party situation. You are pushing into a situation where you can easily get mixed up in the crossfire. He's gonna go ahead and push in. Notice how he has the crosshair centered. Once again, has him centered. He is able to kind of snap that way. And keep in mind that his sensitivity is only weird or, you know, it's different when he's aimed down sight. His normal sensitivity, for example, when he's un and kind of turning as he's tracking this guy right here is still going to be the same. But he's able to hit those shots cleanly. Five kills, still 30 other people. Now, one thing to keep in mind, he should probably trade out that DMR, right? The DMR is not really going to help him out much. So he should be looking for another primary, another long range option that is at least viable it doesn't have to be perfect but it's at least viable has one flying in and you know one thing i do love about solos is there's not a ton of gameplay strategy that you can act on well there is but in terms of you don't get the mini map pings after a kill besides what he just got so in duos trios and quads as soon as we get that kill we figure out where other people are in solos you don't get any of that somebody's getting executed yep we'll take the kill 
We'll take it. Not my problem. There's my daily. Not my problem for all the people that love that right there. Okay, so he's going to go ahead. He's got one to his right. And so that is a situation where we talk about he dies because of that ADS sensitivity multiplier. He's probably able to better hit shots right here. And he's actually in a good position, but you see the overcorrection right there. And I think that's something a lot of you struggle with. A lot of you struggle, even on your normal sensitivity, just making those small little adjustments to get back on that person's high damage area, that chest, that neck, that headshot, and being able to then execute. So let's see what his next play is. This is a gameplay strategy situation that we're looking at. You've got loadout. Okay, what's your play? He's going to go ahead and drop on loadout now in this moment right here this is what you have to be prepared for look at all of the loadouts dropping so that's something that when you are playing any game mode you need to be paying attention to is my loadout by itself or is my loadout with other people because if it's with other people's you have to be aware that there could be people flying back in it's going to go ahead and drop down yep and he's going to go in and get rolling here he's going to challenge he sees one over the right. Yep, go ahead and push this way. Woo! He tracks really well. He notices the other enemy. Notice the centering right here. hes I know for a fact that he has really been working on this. And you can see it paying off. You can see the repetition, the practice. N notice the centering. He's already centered around that, cro uh, around that corner. Now go ahead. Yep, he's right on your level in here. So the only thing that I would like to see here... Let's talk about gameplay strategy. And I want you to start to outthink opponents, right? So when you basically turn this corner and you see this guy pushing back this way his natural rotation is going to be up the stairs so i'm actually going to take the stairwell on the right side of him and push up and kind of meet him at that stairwell and beat him to that second floor as opposed to the way he challenges which is around this corner although he didn't have plates so maybe that's part of it yep he's gonna go at notice right i mean this is where i start to really understand and really start to outthink people is look where they end up not only would I have been able to, I would have been able to pick up both kills right here, and they would have been free. He's able to get the assist on the first one, I think. Yeah, and then he gets the second one right there. He's able to third party that well. So that's where we got to start outthinking opponents and start anticipating what their next move is going to be, beating them to that spot, and then we just have to execute. One guy flying in over to his right. He also, oh, in the corner, rechallenge. There you go. Right? So that's a situation where he loses that simply because he misses shots. And I don't think, look, this is an extreme of missing shots because it is so high. But I think at the end of the day, a lot of you do lose those gunfights simply because you're not able to execute and you're not able to be precise with that right stick. And he, by the way, he has no idea. He didn't realize it until afterwards. And look, he is getting a little bit frustrated, which I don't blame him, right? Because he's working so hard on getting better aim. And it, you just feel like you're all over the place. You feel like you cannot hit a shot and everything feels so difficult. And it's, it's simply a settings change. It's the one thing about my warm-up you gotta be really careful of. So right here, he's kind of in the regain process. With solos, regaining is not that bad because at the end of the day, you just basically need to find a viable gun. You don't need to find something that you can 1v4 or 1v3 with. You just need to find kind of a gun and potentially play a little bit patient, be able to get that first kill. And then at that point, you can get the info, not information, you can get guns you can get plates you can get ammo you can get cash yeah so right here like i'm ready to go challenge again i can i can fight somebody with a marco and we're gonna go ahead and push back into the action and he's thinking the same thing he's gonna rotate back over to his loadout gun so when we talk about the regain process right he has no loadout up he can't full send his loadout guns because people are all around there so what does he do he lands close by and then he rotates over once he's at a point where he can actually fight for his loadout guns he can take out an enemy if he needs to and he even has plates so he's in a really good position right here yep he's gonna play up top clear up top first now challenge down below although he should have seen that mini map ping i don't know which i can't really i think it was on his level yeah you know he's in there i'd use the flash i would actually yeah i would have used that flash a little bit to his advantage quick switch to the armor Ooh, you gotta reload challenge down below notice he's ready notice he's anticipating corners very well challenge around this corner yep the only thing that i would say here and i want you all to learn from this is notice he's slide canceling around corners it's just a touch slow notice he's letting himself slide just a little bit too much and it, you're gonna see it throughout this gameplay right he's still in a weird spot where if he tries to shoot that guy he's still kind of pushing left a little bit whereas we want to cancel that slide so that we stop in place and then at that point we have a good we're in a good position to strafe. We're in a good position to jump right or left if we need to and use a little bit more movement to go ahead and get that kill. 
Seven other kills. Like I said, he's going to drop 15 in the win here. And it's a really good end game, by the way. It's a really good end game. Woo! There it is. He's able to win that gunfight. Good shots. Good shots. Not perfect, but you know what? He's, he's able to get that first shot. It's a little bit of a weird situation. This guy, I don't even know how this happens. I think both of them were kind of like scrambling. Like, where did you just go? And notice that's the difference right there. That little... I'm going to slow this down for you. Notice where he doesn't hit high damage areas. So he could lose this gunfight simply because of that little over pull down, which again, this is something I think a lot of you do. And I've talked about this in a few videos recently, which is vertical recoil control. I actually think a lot of you have pretty good vertical recoil control, especially when it comes to your SMGs but you're hitting those low damage areas. Your, your vertical recoil doesn't change. It's basically locked onto that guy's hip or that guy's stomach. You just need to push it up a little bit and get to that head chest area. Good snap. And that time he was very precise. He was very precise. He made those little micro adjustments that he needed to. He's very soft on it, which is why he's able to get that kill. Grab plates and keep pushing. Just be careful lingering too long, especially in solos, because you're going to get third party. Third partying happens all the time simply because you have 17 people still alive. And you're not playing, a lot of people aren't playing as a team. So they're, you know, there's a lot of individual people just floating around. As opposed to, you might have a team in control, a team in decon, a team in Nova 6, and people kind of all over the place. Right, right here, these guys are all separated. Now, he does miss the one to his right. A little bit of gameplay strategy mistake here. This is a pretty easy challenge right here. Because you've got one, two, three above. This guy's right around your corner. So this is a slide cancer around this corner. And then an immediate challenge. But you got to be ready and anticipate with intent. Now he sees the guy, right? So he just missed it that first time on the minimap. He's once again going to go ahead and challenge. He's able to win that gunfight. Hits a lot of high damage areas there. A lot of chest shots. He's able, like I said, that vertical recoil control. Now he's able to grab plates. Now he's not full plated, so he's got to be careful. He can't be too over aggressive here until he gets that third plate. At the end of the day, it's a winnable gunfight. It is, he can still win with two plates. He's just got to be smart. Look at that. Watch this. Let's, let's pull this back. Watch him, watch him bring his crosshairs up. This is what I'm telling a lot of you to do. And it, it takes repetition. It takes practice. It's very hard. Watch him pull him up. Whoop. Okay, so now if there was a guy to turn the corner, where's his first shot going to be? His first shot is going to be a high damage area. It's much easier to adjust down than it is to adjust up. Challenge around the corner. This guy again. And he actually, I, I will say movement-wise right there, he actually does a good job of letting that slide go because he does have to get around that corner. He can't cancel that slide or else he's not going to be able to see him. So he lets that slide go a little bit longer. Still down a plate. Notice right here, yeah, you can see it that he's just not canceling. He, he's not canceling it. He's letting himself go a little bit too far right there. He's going to challenge around this corner. Notice how far out he's getting as opposed to stopping. It means that he's not able to make another move immediately. He's not able to jump. He's not able to strafe. Slide around the corner. But he is centering his crosshairs, and he's thinking of... He just lost that gunfight because he hits low damage areas. Watch where he hits. Right? He hits all low damage shots. He misses a few. And once again, he gets caught down, basically crouched right here. So he's in a crouched position, allowing this guy to mix in headshots. That's another reason that the cancel is so important is because it makes you stand up. And that person is then going to be hitting stomach or, or hip shots as opposed to hitting headshots. Because a lot of people are naturally aimed at that level of your body. He's going to go ahead, push back in. That's a winnable gunfight too, by the way. They had equal plates. 11 kills, 12 other people, and still got a really good end game to pay attention to. He sees one on the roof right there. So gameplay strategy here is tough. Solos, he's got the MAC-10. He's got enough to take out one kill if he needs to. Not a bad idea here. I know what he's thinking. He's thinking there's guns in here. 100%. Good, really good play. Always remember where you kill people. This is why, right? So when we talk about the regain process, he can't get plates there, but... At the end of the day, he grabs the gas mask. When we talk about the regain process, he's at least in a better position to compete because he doesn't have to think about guns. He's fighting with... Look at that. And now he picks up the plate from the guy he killed from before. Now he's regained. He's ready to go challenge again. He's going to put this plate in. He's got a Marco. I think that was the STG as his secondary, maybe. And and he's in a really good spot right here. You know, he he's back. He sees one down below, basically in showers. So that should be the dot that you push. And I'm not too concerned about that little bit of plate missing. That's not a big deal. Let's see if he puts it in. I would not put it in here, by the way. I would just let it go. Yeah, you should just let that go. That little bit, don't waste the plate on. Over to your right. I'm okay with backing off here. 
but he needs to clear it. Anticipate. What do you do in this situation? Because you don't exactly know where he is. You just start clearing. And when you're clearing those corners, what I mean by clearing is as he looks down this way, like I would, okay, so you push down, you clear around this corner. Then you clear around kind of like the corner down here a little bit and you're anticipating with intent. So every time you turn that corner, you are ready for that person to be there. And the moment they aren't, you start thinking about that next corner. Yeah, so he's just a, he was just a little bit late on that, but that's fine. He's able to third party this. He's able to get those shots right there. And let's go ahead and get back in. Ooh. Yep, and he knows he has to reload. He knows he has to reload. Let's see if he challenges this again. He's got to anticipate with intent. And look, that movement... Woo! I mean, that's where you see he takes a lot of damage there simply because of that ADS sensitivity multiplier. But notice the reach out. He's going to keep progressing. He 100% in. He's, he's working very hard on getting better. He's part of my coaching program. But notice that... That slide again, he gets caught with that cancel. And I know for a fact he's going to message me after this and say he completely understands. Let's go ahead. He's back in. Bounty contract. Why do we grab bounty there? He just gives us information. At the end of the day, we, he just knows where... He, there's only five people left. So now he knows where one more enemy is. He's going to go in and switch his guns. I think those might have been his from before. So he's back with... Yeah, they were. So he's back with his own loadout guns. All, once again, we see the fact that he rotates. Basically, he started where he killed somebody. Then he's able to rotate over and get a few kills with those loadout guns. And now he's able to get his own guns back. And that's part of that regain strategy. And you can do this in duos. You can do this in trios. You can do this in quads. You can do this in any game mode. Now, right here, this has got to be an early rotation to positioning. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get held out of circle, potentially, if you wait too long. You want to be careful, though. Because you don't want to get shot in the back, but you also don't want to just get held out of circle. By the way, he grabbed big game bounty, so that's going to give him a lot of information if he can get that kill. I would 100% go push big game bounty here simply for the information that it gives me. And this is the pinwheel rotation, right? So he's kind of he's kind of pushing in with gas. Maybe he heard somebody, but at the end of the day, you have a decision to make. If you hear somebody right here and you rotate early, then you just picked up a free kill. You could just you know that guy's back here, so you can just hold him out of circle, and that's an easy kill for you as long as you execute. As opposed to potentially putting yourself in a tough spot where somebody is now holding you. A uh, big game bounty poached. So 4100, not enough for UAV. Not a bad play there. The only thing I'd say, this isn't a huge thing. Pulling your parachute there is a little bit risky just because if there's somebody under you, they now know that, you know, you're above them. But it's not a huge thing, right? I, I Sometimes you cannot make this. I didn't watch this gameplay. I did not watch this gameplay, I promise you. But right there, he because he parachuted, that guy below him knows he's up here. I promise you I did not watch this gameplay. Good shots right there. He's able to execute, win that gunfight. Yep, go grab plates. Now he's, now he's in a really good position. Okay, let's talk about this end game. Let's talk about this end game. So, you just cleared Harbor, right? This, this building he's at right now. So, everybody else, all the two other people, have to be somewhere on this side of the map, right? He rotates this too early. I would actually play either like this corner or I'd be pacing back and forth of this side of the building trying to check and see what I can find. But he ends up rotating this too early. Oh, there's the last ping. Or there's one ping. Right? So you know where one enemy is. And he's shooting at somebody. He's not shooting at nothing. So the other enemy has to be somewhere over here. All you have to do is hold these guys out of circle. And this is an easy win. He makes it a little bit tougher on himself. Be this is a 1v1. So right here... In this moment, you see the people fighting. You see the one guy left. I go full send this last kill, right? You know he's over here. You, and the longer you wait on information, the more it's going to change, as I always say. So let's act on that while we have the information about where he is, as opposed to letting it change, letting that guy heal up, letting that guy get his bearings back, and then he can get into circle. Just a minor little end game thing. He's going to push in. And this is where he gets caught, right? He Now he notices that he rotated too early. Now he notices he's got to get into circle. Yep. And he just he just rotated that too early. And that's okay. Those are situations that we learn from. This guy's over here somewhere. We just don't know where just yet. And I, I would say even if he had two stims and a full gas mask, I probably wouldn't make that rotation. Because by being in this building, you already have power position and cover. You already need... You are already where you want to be in terms of holding them out of circle 
And notice this is still in, right? This harbor building right here is actually still in play. So that's where you would want to be. Okay, let's go ahead and keep. I, I've talked a lot about this end game. Let's go ahead and watch it. Okay, so he's down to no plates. He's got to make a play here. He's, yep, full gas mask. You can push up roof. And he's going to go ahead and, and just kind of wait. You know he has to rotate to you. Right? He's got to rotate. You got shot in the back from over this direction somewhere. So he's got to rotate this way. He's got to rotate up to your the hill to your left. He's got to rotate up this little way here. So you know he's got to push out right in front of you. And then it's about just hitting shots. Yep. There he is. And you're going to see the aim be all over the place right here. Especially that ADS sensitivity multiplier is kicking in. So I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.